Welcome everyone, you may be in a situation where cloud gaming isn't working on the Xbox Series S, here is how to fix it. So first of all, uh, just click on the Xbox uh, button on your console, you can navigate to My Games and Apps and see all. So here's the deal, right? We're going to scroll down to full library and uh, one more time to manage. You're going to see the queue. If there are any apps or any games in the queue, by default, cloud gaming is just disabled. So if you have any game, any app in the queue, while you have that downloading, cloud gaming will not work. So how do you solve that? You just click into queue, select the game or app which is downloaded. You just click uh, downloading even, click on start, and then just cancel uh, the download. When you have stuff installing, there should also be an option, uh, the site, you see installing, just move you know, your finger all the way to the right. There should be an option which says cancel all or pause all. Just select the pause all, that's going to pause all the downloads, and then you should be good to go. If that still doesn't work, what that means is the game or app you're trying to play via, you know, cloud gaming, you also have in the queue or it's downloading now. So you just have to cancel that download and then, you know, have your cloud gaming session. And the best bet is once you're done with the cloud gaming session, then just get the game fully downloaded. And then after that, you go back and you play uh, on your cloud game. Also, another thing as well is cloud gaming only works with Xbox Game Pass, right? So I don't have Game Pass, which is why I can't really show most stuff, to be honest with you. However, if you don't have Game Pass, you can't, you know, cloud game. So just keep that in mind. Uh, usually, I think there's like, a, I had the trial, usually there's a dedicated section for Game Pass. So if you have it, you have it. If you don't, you're going to need to get it in order for the cloud play option to show up. Another thing as well is there is a uh, Game Pass section inside of the Xbox store, right? I actually can't remember where it is. Uh, if you have Game Pass, you are obviously going to know where it is. You just want to go to the Game Pass section and then search up the game through the Game Pass area. And here's the deal, right? If you just search up for the game through the regular search, you may be, uh, you know, going on a title which isn't made for Game Pass. And so if it isn't made for Game Pass, you're not gonna be able to cloud play onto it, right? So what you're gonna do instead, you just find that dedicated Game Pass area, and then search up for the game, and then you should have the cloud play option, as long as you did everything earlier, uh, which means that, you know, you didn't have anything in the queue, and if the game was downloading in the queue, you got rid of it. And the final thing as well, they just may be a situation where your internet is too slow, right? What does that mean? Well, you know, you, when you're doing cloud gaming, you're sending basically, basically you're live streaming, right? But you're not just live streaming, you're live streaming, and at the same time, streaming someone else's content. Imagine, you know, you have OBS, and you know, you're trying to live stream to YouTube, and at the same time on another tab, you have someone else's live stream and you're downloading that at the same time. Some internets may be able to support it, but a lot don't, right? And to be honest here, nowadays, the internets which don't is in the minority. Like you really need, you know, eight down, eight up, and you should be okay. But the problem is, uh, you know, most internet speeds will have a good download speed, but the upload speed, which is what you need to send your inputs, you know, all that good stuff, usually that's really bad. And that's the reason why you may be having issues. And so if your internet's really bad, if you're just not going to see the option at all. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. If you watched all the way through and you're still not able to get this to work, I will have a Microsoft support in the description. You can always call them up, you know, send them a message, all that good stuff. And hopefully, guys, you get the issue solved. If you didn't get the issue solved with the fixes in this video and you know, contact Microsoft and you know that helped out or you got some other fix, let me know in the comment section, right? Not just for me, but because there may be other people watching this video who need help. It's really more like a forum. Of course, I've covered the fixes, but if these fixes don't work for you and you got something else which is working, let, let everyone know in the comment section, help everyone out. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.